Hello there you amazing viewers and subscribers. So Nick, for this video I'm going to try and say what seasons I will hope that we will get in next year for Doctor Who, the collection range. So when I'm saying that, I mean I'm going by what they've done for this year and of course 2019 because 2018 was the year they started so we had two box sets 2020 we had covid going on so again we only had two box sets where this year and of course 2019 we had three box sets of doctor who the collection range where for 2019 we kind of had an 80s box set then a 70s and then an 80s so as you know here we've got season 18 10 and 23 so I'm popping them to one side, like so, because this year, hang on now, I've just been on that all the way, because this year we're getting three box sets, and we could have done the opposite than 2019, because instead of having two 80s box sets and then one 70s box set, we're basically having two 70s box set and one 80s, because we've got season 8 this year and season 24. So now it's season 17, coming out in December, I thought to myself, maybe next year they want to try and switch it again. So I thought if they were going to do that and say we have two 80s box sets and one 70s box set, because I don't think we're going to have anything to do with the 1960s uh, next year because of the way the animations are being. We're just getting the very first story to be animated for William Hartnell in from season three. So, and I've still got a lot of catching up to go for the animations. Where if you look for season five, season five is nearly complete because we got the Abrol Snowman that's been rumoured. And we just need the Will in Space. And then season five, I really think season five would be the first 1960s box set. So next year, I was actually look, thinking to myself going... If they're going to do what they did for 2019 and do one 70s box set and then two 80s box sets and then for the year after 2023 180s box set and two 70s box set what would next year's releases be so i actually think this is what i personally think and i could be 100 percent wrong i could be 50 50 i never really know so i want to try and talk about what seasons i personally think if they are going to do that where they release three box sets a year and if they're going to do that, I will actually have to try and see them switch it. So, like, for 2019, we had three box sets, like, two 80s, one 70s. This year, two 70s and one 80s. So, next year, I would actually have to see two 1980s box sets and one 1970s box set. So, for the first um, 1980s box set, I would actually like to see season 22, Colin Baker's second full-on series as the Sixth Doctor. Because that way Colin Baker's stories are complete on Blu-ray then. So you can actually sit down and watch Attack of the Snowmen, Ventures on Pharos, Mark and Iran, The Two Doctors, Time Lash and Resurrection, Resolution of the Daleks. Imagine all that in one box set. And then that way you could just have in one little row on the shelf. Especially if you've got like a where you can fit three box sets on a shelf. Think about it. You can have season 22, 23 and 24. Six next to each other like so and then that's part of the 80s and i really would actually like to see that one uh there is i'm gonna i did actually swap this for another 1980s one so season 22 i think that i would actually like to see that one first because i think it might be about time for another colin baker i personally do think which is about time we had another colin baker box set because colin baker we had in 2019 last year and this year we had two Sylvester mccoy's box set Colin Baker's only got two seasons, so I think it'd be fair if we get season 22 out of the way f um, for so on. Because after after not, uh, there's not, um, season 17. So for the 70s box set, I think, I personally do think it might be season 11. Because season 11's only got the invasion of the dinosaurs that need a little bit of work on. Where if you look for season um seven and nine i really do think those two might need a bit more working on i mean if you think about it for the for season seven where you in the vhs you can tell what episodes are in black and white even i don't own them i've literally looked it up on youtube 
And when they did the VHS version and the coloured version from the DVD, you can still see it in the Ambassadors, Ambassadors of Death, where a little bit of black and white was still seeping through uh, on the DVD. Season 9, it's but mainly, I think, it would probably be the mutants that need a bit more work on with the special effects. So I do think that. So the one box, so the, the 70s box set, I think it might be season 11. Just get a John Pertwee box set out there. Le let Tom Baker have a rest because we've only got three box sets for Tom Baker left to release. So I would actually have to see season 11 because that way you can actually have on your shelf season 10, 11 and 12. Just build up that gap there. Because season season 11, it's John Pertwee's last season. We have the introduction to Sarah Jane Smith, who is a fan favourite. We have the first appearance of the Santarans, as well as, as I say, we've got Invasion of the Dinosaurs, Death to the Daleks, which is, I personally enjoy that story. It's not the best Dalek story, but it's still, I actually enjoy that a lot more than Destiny of the Daleks, I have to say. And of course, we have the Monster of Paladon, which is the last Ice Warrior story from the 90, uh, from classic Doctor Who. And then, of course, we have Planet of the Spiders, after Planet of the Spiders, because that does lead into Robot in Season 12. So I really think that way. Be good. Uh, so for the next 1980s box set, I think it will be Season 20. Now, this is where I say I think it might change. I think it'll be Season 20 first, and then at the end of the year, have Season 22. So you have a Peter Davison and a Colin Baker season going out in that year. Because season 20, I think that'd be a great way, because it has been rumoured for a long time now, season 20 was coming since Jan Janet, uh, Janet Fielding, the one who plays Tegan, leaked it on Twitter a couple of years ago. I think it was about last year, or the year before, 2019. We know it's coming. We know season 20 is coming. But season 20, uh, some people don't consider it to be a great season, but... I just want it for one fantastic story, and that is the Five Doctors. Imagine the Five Doctors in HD. You're sitting down watching the Five Doctors when you have William Hartnell going, One day I shall come back. Yes, I shall come back. Until then, just go forward in all your beliefs and prove to me that I'm not mistaken in mine. I would love to see William Hartnell. That's the bit of William Hartnell I actually like to see get in HD. And then, of course, we have Richard Handel, who plays the first Doctor, because William Hartnell passed away in 1975, even though that little clip I just mentioned is actually taken from the Dalek version of Earth. That's the one thing I would actually love season 24, is the five Doctors. The rest of the stories are okay. I mean, Ark Infinity, that was my first Peter Davison episode I actually ever sat down and watched with me dad, so I do enjoy that one, because it was one, the first story I watched with Omega, um, the Time Lords are in it, and then you've got the great stuff in Amsterdam. I think that's really good. Then you have Snake Dance, which I actually prefer that to then Kinder. I really think Snake Dance is a great four-part story with the Mara. Then you've got the Black Guardian trilogy. I really think all three, four episodes of that trilogy, because you've got Morin on Dead, that's four. And then you've got Terminus, that's like eight episodes. Then you've got 12 episodes of the Black Guardian trilogy, and I really think that'd be great for people to sit down and enjoy. And then you've got The King's Demon, which is a little bit of um, a story, because it because after the Black Garden trilogy, it lets you ease off a bit, and then just after it, you've got The Five Doctors, so you can actually just like relax while you're watching The King's Demon, because it hasn't got a lot going on. And then after The King's Demon, just go and watch The Five Doctors. So this is the box set I think that might be for next year. I really do think it might be the opposite than this year where we had two 70s box set and one 1980s box set. I really think it'd be two 1980s box set and one 70s box set. So as I say, I really would like to see um, Peter Davison or Colin Baker story uh, season, like season 20 or 22 at the beginning of the year. I really do think it might be season 21st. Season 20, I might think that's first. I was going to say um, well about season 25, but I really don't think they will try and complete Sylvester McCoy's run this early on in the collection range. Because last year we had season 20, um, 26, this year season 24. I really don't think they're going to try and rush season 25 out just yet. That's what I'm personally just saying. I just don't think they will actually do that. Um, for season 25... Colin Baker, as I say, you just got one more season, which is season 22. 
And then I don't think it'll be season 21 because then season 21 and 25 are the last two seasons of 1980. So they might save them for another point in time. I would actually like to say that could be for the 60th anniversary. But around about the time you get to the 60th, it'd be that time of year where you... It'd be that time uh, again where you get two 70s box set and one 80s box set. So I do kind of think that because really for the 1980s, we just need season 20, 21 and 22 and 24. So if they do season 20 and 22 back um next year then that way i just got two seasons and i can just release anytime they want then i really think colin baker might benefit from having these two seasons out in blu-ray because season 22 has got some great stories in it where we've already got season 23 and from what i've looked on facebook and stuff some people still own this limited edition box and then they own the standard release so I really think the sales for the standard release of season 23 have actually done really, really well. Where I think season 22 might come next year because it might just do absolutely perfect. Because if you think about it, you've got a Cyberman story, you've got a Master story, you've got a Santaran story and a Dalek story. Where you literally got three of the main villains from the rest of the, from the previous classic run. That are in that season so that's and that's the only season where you see kind of four of the villains of classic who in one season i mean we start off with the cyberman then the first story in we have the master although we have the instructor story to the irani but we are in, really are used to the master and then of course the end of the, like the story after that you've got the santarans and the return of the second doctor and then of course after that in the finale of the season you have Daleks and Davros and a new race of Daleks, aka the Necros Daleks. So I really think the BBC will benefit a bit more than from that season. And for Peter Davison, the reason I think it'd be season 20, because that, as I say, that season was rumoured around about 2019. But I don't think it'd be season 21, because again, season 21 has that one story of Colin Baker. And I really don't think they will just go like release six stories of Peter Davison and then Colleen Baker in that season just straight after season 22 or before season 22. I really do think it might be season... I really do think it might be season 20. The reason I think it's going to be a John Pertwee season and I think it might be series season 11 is because they might want to give Tom Baker a bit of a rest because since these box sets started coming out in 2018, we have had a Tom Baker box set per year i mean in 2018 we had season 12 then in 2019 we had season 18 then last year 2020 we had season 14 this year we have had season 17 coming out so i really do think they might want to give tom a bit of a break next year before they try and focus on his last three seasons because if you look at it john pertwee has got three seasons to be released on blu-ray where there's only four 1980s box sets that needs that that has to be released and worked on. So I personally do actually think they might give Tom a bit of a rest next year. And then in 2023, bring out season 13. And then 2024, season either season 15 or 16. And then the year after, whatever that one is. Where I think for John Pertwee, they might want to wait until the 50th anniversary well, sorry, the 60th anniversary for season seven, because I think season seven just needs a little bit of work done on it with the Silurians, because some black and white do seep through as well as Ambassadors of Death and Inferno. The only episode that isn't in black and white is Spare from Space, but that's already got a Blu-ray release. So I don't think it'd be season uh, seven yet. I don't think it'd be season nine, because for some reason, season nine doesn't seem to be very popular with Doctor Who fans. I have never seen anybody talk about season nine in the way they do like for season eight or seven or 10 or 11. Season nine is that one John Pertwee season you don't really hear people talk about much, but that's what I personally think because if they do it that way where they release two 80s box set, two 80s and then one 70s, I think that's why they just might take a break for a bit because after, if you think about it for the 70s, 
they've got um, 7, 9, 13, 15 and 16. And then for the 80s, you just literally have 21 and 25. Seven box sets. So I, that's the way I think of it. Because I don't think they'll be doing the 80s yet. Let me know in the comments what you think they could be. Do you think they could be two 70s box set like this year and one 80s box set? Let me know. Thank you for watching. And please do like, subscribe and share. And join me for another Doctor Who content video very, very soon. Thank you for watching and have a great evening.